What a do players and trainers, it is your boy the Blazing Squid with another All-Star Weekend battle video coming your way. Uh, as you guys can see on the screen, we have Team Medium Slong, Matt representing with a Mega Venusaur, a Rotom Heat, a Crocodile, I think it's Mega Venusaur, I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure this is Mega, Sock, Cafable, and Gyarados. And then he has his opponent, Apollo where Apollo is rocking with an Arcanine, he's rocking with a Ferrothorn, Thunderous Eye, Nine Tails, a little bit of Nine Tails, Espeon, and Rotom Frost. Um, as you guys can see, like dual flying and dual, dual ice, man. Let's see what happens with this video. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna come out victorious um, with this video? I'm actually very interested, because at this point, I kind of know the scores, and the scores, are pretty spicy as you guys will know down below the doc will be there for you guys to have access to these scores and see what's up so they're both going to lead off with intimidate mons if i'm not mistaken who's intimidate comes off first arcanine due to speed tiers being faster so it is um okay we do not have the dual thing we have a moxie set so he doesn't know if he's faster or not yet so he's gonna switch out into ferrothorn not sure if that's the best switch in as oh stone edge right off the bat Okay, it was the right switch in. And that was a crit. So good read, good, good read indeed. I don't think anything on his team. Oh, actually, he has three mods read to rocks. So really, really solid right there. Um, could have been an opportunity for Matt to get up rocks, which rocks would have hurt his team a lot. But Espeon was something he couldn't risk coming in here. As Ferrothorn is gonna get up his own her Ferrothorn is gonna get up her own rocks. I don't know if it's a he or she. It isn't he. It is not a she, it is a he indeed. But this is a great opportunity for Matt. Now he has uh, advantage. He could probably Volt Switch, which would be his best play right now. Uh, doesn't have to worry too much about Thunderous Eye, um, but let's see what happens. He is gonna Volt Switch. Okay, that's nice. No ground types to stop that. Next up we have, the Gyarados is gonna come out now and is, is the Intimidate. It is. It is indeed. Um, Arcanine is forced out once again. Probably into Ferrothorn again. No. He goes into his um, Frost Slash. I mean, Frost Slash. Into his Rotom. Um, Alright, so we got a little bit of an early setup. A little bit of an early setup. With the Dragon Dance Waterfall. So it is not a Scarfed Rotom this week. It's gonna take that real nicely. Vault switch. Oh, but he eats the Wakan Berry. So really, really solid right there. Um, he's probably gonna go into Ferrothorn if I'm not mistaken right now. Ferrothorn is probably really the safest play, even though Gyarados does get access to Fire Blast. And knowing Matt, I could see a Fire Blast coming right here right now. Knowing Matt, I think I could see a Fire Blast right now. Fire Blast, show us. <laughs> Told you guys. I called it. I called it. It's not doing too much, but it's a lot better than whatever. Mm, not sure if knockoff was the right play there. Oh, he probably has nothing else really to, to touch it with, though. That's why. All right, so maybe go oh, crunch this time around. Okay, so uh, crunch is going to be doing yeah, they did just about the same. I think fire blast is slightly more. I think he just didn't want to risk miss there. And he actually survived like on one. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, so first kill the match goes to Apollo Apollo indeed Apollo's gonna try to see what he can do here as the crook comes back in do we know if the crook is scarf yet I don't think we do but he's gonna scout he's gonna scout is Matt gonna get his rocks up he's gonna go for a low kick Ooh, that's nice does low kick kill Ferrothorn from the range that it's at Probably if he went for it. I think it does if he's carrying low kick over fire fang There's a, probably a really really good chance Arcanine. That's a solid switch in here it, It'll actually give the intel too if it's scarf or not at this moment will he switch up his moves no switching up moves But low kick comes off. I Thought yup, it is not scarf Ooh. Yikes so he was probably a more defensive uh, set this week, man, but yikes indeed. Uh, so Lola Nightsales comes in here. I don't think anything on his team appreciates a blizzard. Oh, Rotom can take blizzards, but it has to take rocks too and the rock chip, um, the chip damage from the 
from the hill here. So let's see what happens. He's going to go for the blizzard. No Yachi. Are you a Solfest? He is 3 for 3 in Stone Edge. That did not kill. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that Stone Edge just, just did not kill. He's He's got some bulk invested in it. Okay. Okay, indeed. Uh, Rotom is here. It's going to take a hit in. Oh, it's Scarf Rotom. Scarf Rotom. Okay. Ooh, losing nine tails. What? Uh, Apollo's at this point lost nine tails. He's lost. No, Fairthorn's still alive. He's lost Arcanine thing, I think. I don't know if he has anything for. See how much the Psychic does. Is it choice specs? That's close. Close to being a two shot. We'll find out if it's Magic Garden or not right now. He's gonna get buffed and he's not. So it is Magic Guard. Oh wait, I should know. He didn't take rocks. Obviously, Squid. Obviously. So I don't know if he's gonna try to set up right here and get a nasty plot off. Ooh, soft boil. Since Matt was Matt's trying to just dwindle down his opponent just a little bit more real quick. Um, if Thunderous is a, a nasty plot set, this is gonna be an interesting few turns here. Never mind. Straight up sludge bomb. If it was a I'm telling you once again, guys, if he was I think two of them could have knocked out. If he got nasty plot now, sludge bomb, sludge bomb, he pretty much would have guaranteed got this thing out of here. Uh, instead, he went for Cosmic Power. Um, he can go for another Sledge Bomb, but... Hmm. I guess he does not have the Nasty Plot. This gives Clefable every opportunity to set up. Now he's at plus one. Oh, trick. Smart, smart, smart indeed right there. Is it choice specs? Was that why he was doing so much damage earlier? It was choice specs. So Matt probably knew that. Choice specs. Usually when you trick an item, that opponent stuck to that last move that was clicked. So does Magic Guard avoid that? We just learned something new. Magic Guard. So Magic Guard can avoid the fact that you get tricked an item and you're locked into it. That is crazy. That is crazy indeed. What? What? I've never... I, I did not know that. I did not know that indeed. Oh my god. What? So I think Matt knows he can't. Prevents all damage from non direct attacking moves. Yeah, I think because, like, you don't take. I, yeah, I guess. Yeah, we'll just go with that. We'll go with that indeed. Uh, he's gonna have Iron Head. I don't even. Okay, so he probably he could protect this turn and try to get off another one, but I think he has to risk it. Actually, he has to risk it and go for the Iron Head. He has to, because his opponent's gonna switch out here. Yeah, Rotom does come in and taking another twenty-five percent. Well, if he goes for Iron Head here, he would guarantee one hundred percent avoid him from two more switch ins. Well, he could click Protect now. Scout what his opponent might go for. He does go for the Overheat. Do you go... Well, Arcanine's gone. So what do you do? Do you sack Espeon here? No, you need Espeon for... The Venusaur. And the Sock. You sack the okay. You sack the the Rotom. I thought I thought Rotom. If he had sacked Ferrothorn, we would have been a. Uh... 
This thing also has protect. So he's already used up probably three three overheats. Three overheats out of his eight. And he can click it. No, well, he could try to gamble the double protect, but I don't think it's worth it. All right, so he's going to click overheat now, and it's going to connect, kill the Rotom. Rotom versus Rotom. That's funny to watch. Great opportunity for Thunderous to come in. Or Espeon. Espeon's weak, though. I don't... I, he's, he knows... Does he not know he was Scarf? He also bet his Bond earlier. He should have known it was Scarf. Hey, I'll spit, um, yeah, I'll spit, um, under it. Unless he wanted it to get down to neg four. That would be something different completely. That's something completely different. Thunder, oh, he goes for psychic this time around. He can click one more time and be completely safe. Um, if he has, maybe this is a Scarf Thunderous, for all we know. If it is a Scarf Thunderous, he's kind of... He has a force. Ooh, I think this is gonna be an endurance, an endurance side berry sock. Nope, it's a scarf set. That's GG. Not sure if that crit matter. Did that crit matter? I don't think it did. Scarf sock. I thought Thunder was gonna be scarf for sure, man. Really did think it was gonna be scarf right there. Sock. Wall breaker. I don't think the ice punch mattered. I really don't. If he was jolly, it actually matters. It 100% mattered. It does 72 to 85 if he was jolly. If he was adamant, it would have been doing 79 to 93. He still would have survived. So. I don't know what to say, guys. Other than uh, G and Rotom is still missing. Rotom was still missing overheats. Wow. Okay then. And that's why it is no longer a 4-0. Well, it's no longer a 3-0 because the Fable I was counting beforehand. So with that said, players and trainers. Congratulations to Matt on his win and Team Medium Slung. So once again, the, the score will be in the bottom down below. I highly suggest you go check it out. See who's in the lead, who's tied, who's behind. There's only one way to find out, guys. And it's getting very, very close to the end here. So with that said, players and trainers, you're amazing. Stay blazing. Squid out. Catch you in the next or the video before. Who knows what order you're watching these in. Peace.